DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a 15-minute full-body dumbbell workout. So for this workout, we're going to be going through 16 exercises in total for just one set each. Our working time is 30 seconds. Our break time is 20 seconds. There are no extended breaks during the workout. This workout also includes a warm-up as well. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we've got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going to go into is an alternating forward lunge. So get some space out in front of you. We're going to drop out, come back, switch sides. Move my water right here. All right, so we're dropping out, coming back, switching sides, dropping out, coming back. You don't have to drop down super low. Also, if you can't, you don't have to take a big step. It could be a smaller step, nice little move, just like that, just to kind of warm up. If you can't do single legs, you can do squats as well. So now we're gonna do reverse lunge, get space behind you, drop back, come up. Drop back, come up. There we go. Again, you don't have to take a super huge step back if you don't want. Next, we got chest openers. So, slip into the elbows right here, like this. Don't forget to breathe. Nice and easy on these. Feeling everything open up. We got arm swings next. So, we're forwards and backwards with our arm. Also, I apologize for the mower. The guy at the RV park decided he was going to mow right when I decided I was going to film. So here we are. Hopefully, he'll be gone soon. Now we got body weight squats, feet shoulder width apart, dropping down, coming up. Try to keep the back nice and straight. Weight in the heels, chest out, head up. Make sure that when you're pushing up, the knees stay out. They don't buckle in like that. We don't want that. We want them to stay pushed out. Here we go. We got good mornings next. So slide into the knees, dropping down, feeling the hamstrings, and then bending at the lower back, coming back up. We get one more. Here we go. We got 20 seconds till we get into our workout. All right, we got front squats coming up here. So what we're going to do for front squats, take our dumbbells, curl them up right here. From here, feet a little closer than shoulder width, dropping down, coming up. Make sure to keep your back nice and straight on these when you drop down. It's okay if you can only come to like here where you have to push back up. That's fine. Chest out, head up. Here we go. Nice and easy here. Let's go. We're not trying to go for speed, We're going for quality reps. Here we go. All right, we got kneeling row left side. So, what we're going to do, so we're going to kind of do like a little row pull action here. So, elbow goes right here on the dumbbell, pulling up, coming down. It's going to help us save that lower back. Here we go. So, right here, back down. Your palm should be facing the thigh right here of the leg that is down or the quad of the leg that is down. If it gets too heavy, you need a break. You can just drop the dumbbell right here, come back up. You need to sit it down each rep, that's totally fine. Switching sides here, kneeling row right side. Here we go. Also, if you think you can, you can do it right here, a little split stance right here, and you can either put your hand here or elbow there and perform these like that if you want as well. You can try both out. Here we go. Remember hand or palm faces the quad here. 
drop it down, come back up, tap it, come back up and squeeze. Don't forget to breathe. Here we go. One more. Here we go. All right, we got chest press or push ups. So I'll do chest press. So we're going to be on our back here. Do the dumbbell on each side of yourself. Lay back. And from here, our elbows are going to be about 45 degrees, maybe a little less away from the body. Pushing up, tap them together, come back down. There we go. Let the back of the arms hit the ground. Push back up. Breathe. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. There we go. We're going into a glute bridge. So I'm actually just going to hold on to both my dumbbells. If you want, you can drop a single dumbbell and hold it sideways on your hips right here. Then we're going to come up, squeeze the glutes, back down. I want a little bit more weight, so I'm going to use both. Kind of hold them in place here. Here we go. So head down, coming up, explode, squeeze the glutes, back down. So we're just kind of touching the butt to the ground, coming back up, squeeze, tap and go here. There we go. Push it out. All right, we got lying tricep extension. I was about to get up. So for these, we're gonna be on our back. I'm just gonna scoot down so I don't hit my water. Our hands are gonna go up right here. We're gonna tilt them back just a little bit from here and then we're gonna extend at the elbows, tap to the ground, come back. Here we go. So nice and easy. Dumbbells come down above the head. If it gets too tough, you can use a single dumbbell. Or another option is, is once you get back here, drop your elbows. Do a chest press back up. Extension down. Chest press up. Extension down. There we go. All right, we got leg lifts coming up. Let me put these off somewhere. So hands on this one are going to go up under the butt right here. Feet out. Here we go. Right here, coming up, back down, up, back down. Try to keep that head up. We don't want our head dropping like that. I'm going to keep it up. Keep the lower part of the back right here on the ground. Here we go. If you feel like you can, when you come up, try to get the hips up off the ground by using the core. Here we go. All right, we got flies coming up here. So this time we're going to slide in the elbows opening the chest, coming back. So we're bending the elbows and then we're locking that into place. Here we go, hands up. Coming out, tapping the back of the arms, coming back up. Exhale when you bring the hands together. Inhale as the arms come back down. Here we go. 10 seconds. Good controlled movements here. Last one. Here we go. All right, we got kneeling reverse grip rows coming up. So it's similar to the other rows, except this time our palm is gonna be facing out away from us. And when we pull back or pull up, we're gonna pull back kind of to the hips instead of more straight up here. So. Palm out, pulling up and back. So in the original ones, I was here. These ones, I'm back here. That way we can feel it right here in the lat. 
up and back. There we go. All right, switching sides. Right side here. So we're just switching sides on this one. Still pulling up and back. There we go. Pulling up and back. Here we go. You come up, squeeze back down. Up, squeeze back down. One more. Here we go. Oh, we got two more squats coming up. For these, you can use one or two dumbbells. So I'm going to use two. Feet are gonna be nice and wide here, pointing the toes out at like a 10 and two or 11 and one. Dumbbells are right here in the front. Dropping down, coming up. Dropping down, coming up. Make sure to keep your weight in your heels. Chest out, head up. In seconds. There we go. Come on, keep pushing. We're gonna get one more here. Ah, there we go. All right, we got shrugs. Shrugs coming up next. So, what we're gonna do here, standing nice and tall, feet closer together, dumbbells by the side, bring the shoulders up to the ears, and then back down. Here we go. Coming up and down. Up and squeeze. Back down. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Nice controlled movements. If you want, you can try to get a three to five second hold here at the top. Really work those traps. Let's hold. There we go. All right, we got RDLs next. So for RDLs, Slight bend in the knees here, and then we're gonna bend at the hips as we bend, butt sinks back, dumbbell stay close to the shins, head up, chest out. Here we go. All right, coming down, stay looking out, back up. This way our back stays nice and straight. So if we begin to look down, Right here, our lower back wants to bend, and we don't want that. So keep that back nice and straight. One more. Here we go, we got bicep curls coming up. Now it's on to the fun stuff. So for bicep curls, palms facing out right here. Coming up, back down. Here we go. Coming up and down. Make sure you keep your elbows by your sides. Right here like this, we don't want to be doing this business. Here we go, if it gets too difficult, you can always alternate left and right. Come on, push it out. Here we go, we got shoulder press coming up. So for shoulder press, what we're gonna do is curl them up one last time here, palms facing out away from us, pushing up, coming down. It's important on these that your elbows are in front of the shoulders right here, not way back here. Here we go. Pushing up, coming down. Pushing up, coming down. 
If you need to, you can alternate left and right. Keep those elbows in front of the shoulders, drive up. If you need to, you can use the legs to help explode up, slowly lower. Explode up, slowly lower. Let's get one more. Here we go. Lateral raises. Use a much lighter weight for lateral raises. So I'm gonna drop it 10 pounds on each dumbbell here. Trying to really focus on the pump, the burn right here, forcing blood in the muscles versus going for weight. Slipping in the elbows, coming out, back down. Out, back down. For most people, I would say 15 pounds would be a max that you would want to use for this. I have I think about 20 pounds here. And this is probably the limit I would use for lateral raises. And those, no, there's no reason to go any heavier. If I wanted to go heavier, I would just do shoulder press. There we go. We are done. 15 minute workout complete. There we go, way to go. Give yourself a pat on the back there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. See you guys.